Item number SCP-4291, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. The location and pressure associated with SCP-4291 make relocation impossible. Therefore, containment measures are to focus on mitigating the spread of SCP-4291-1 instances. MTF Gamma-19 Scuba Cum Laude is to be deployed during seasonal events in order to contain SCP-4291-1 instances. Description SCP-4291 is a Russian submarine sunk off the coast of Margate in the UK. Precise identification of the make and model is hindered by the enormous growth crawl around the base of SCP-4291 and through the hull. While superficially resembling Alcopora hyacinthus, this crawl appears to be endemic to cooler ambient temperatures and presents local deformation resistance equivalent to the Rockwell Sea Scale. These growths are to be considered part of SCP-4291 and have grown over the entrance hatch and torpedo bay doors. This combined with the position of SCP-4291 being partially buried, estimated 40% of the total length, in a local lock formation, makes entry to the interior of SCP-4291 impossible. The rock outcropping is likely the remnant of two larger boulders, and is covered in Agapora humulus, which presents no anomalous properties other than surviving in colder ambient temperatures. The bowl of SCP-4291 has been breached and lifted clear of local rocks with a yaw of approximately 40 degrees. However, it is covered entirely by cold tissue growth. It is unknown if this breach is the cause of SCP-4291 sinking or if it occurred afterwards. Sonar scans and physical probes of SCP-4291's bow port had failed due to unexpected calcification of the coil in response to stimulation. SCP-4291 undergoes a periodic effect determined by global ocean current patterns. Thermal halon circulation bringing warmer water temperatures occurs once per year in the spring and correlates strongly with these effects. During this seasonal pattern, the girth of SCP-4291 will increase 30% as it is engorged with SCP-4291-1. After this, SCP-4291 will retain its new size for one week on average, after which it will expel approximately 60 instances of SCP-4291-1 through the bowl as the crow tissue growth recedes temporarily. After a refractory period of two weeks, the cycle will repeat three times. SCP-4291-1 appeared to be the former crew of SCP-4291. They are dressed in standard attire issued to the Royano Moscow-Rodden in the 1970-1971 period. Of the corpses present no anomalous effects outside their relationship to SCP-4291. Dental and DNA records do not match any known Foundation databases. SCP-4291-1 are probably buoyant. After the expulsion from SCP-4291, they will float at neutral buoyancy until putrefaction. Addendum 4291-1 Discovery Report SCP-4291 was uncovered by Foundation dive crews after local reports from Market UK indicated seamen washing up on shore.